Hey guys, Game Hunter here, and uh, today we're playing a game called Mercury. Mercury, Venus, Earth, etc. Anyway, uh, this is a roguelike in which the players actually dictate how the game is created. Um, and I guess there's three big points about it. I probably should have written something down. But anyway, it's a roguelike, so it plays like a classic roguelike format. Um, it's an arcade so you're actually trying to get the highest points and maybe in some roguelikes there are points but in this case they actually matter because the third part is that mercury is what's called winner generated and what it means is that the highest scorers actually get to influence how the game uh, evolves over time so that ought to be a very interesting concept and i really doubt i will ever get to that point of being super amazing player but because uh, <laughs> I, I bet some guys have really put a lot of time into the game. But anyway, let's just start with the tutorial to understand what we are doing. Uh, I don't think there's music, so I'm just going to go ahead and put some on myself. So we can get started. A game of Mercury consists of a series of levels. Your goal in each level is to kill monsters to earn points and then advance to the next level. <coughs> this is you. Move your character with WASD or the arrow keys. As you move around, the level begins to reveal itself. This is a monster. Monsters attack you if you move next to them. To attack a monster, simply walk into it. Killing monsters earns you points and items. This is information about you. So this is like our class stuff. It tells you about your character, including damage and special effects. If you hover over other things, it will tell you about them. So if I hovered over that guy, I would probably show that. Uh, these are your slot item slots. To use an item, click on it or press the 1 to 6 keys. So they're just little quick keys. To discard an item, click on the discard button on the item. Some items can't be used. So we got passive, maybe equipment type, and then we got our consumables. This is your carry meter. Shows how many more items you can carry. Some are heavier than others. So in spite of there only being 6 slots, you're also limited by heavy items. The top box is your HP. If it goes down to zero, you lose. Or, I mean, the game is over, but uh, same thing. <laughs> the bottom box is the number of turns you have left. If they go to zero, the game is over also. Um, if the number of turns... Okay. I don't know why I'm Mr. Grammar Nazi all the time. This box indicates your points. You earn multiplier by defeating boss monsters. Multipliers multiply all the points you have from then on out. Uh, right, not include, not, it doesn't retroactively reward you stuff. That's all you need to know to start adventuring, but there is much more to learn on the way. If you want to start slow, play a classic game by selecting that option. I'm actually very tempted to simply do classic. I was reading the forums briefly just to get an understanding of things and stuff. And according to things and stuff, classic mode is basically one player type, one monster, and one item. <laughs> and it's it's basically where players started before things were continuously added over time. So let's just take a look at that. Let's take a look at the very base game. So you're a squire, you fight a goblin, and uh... Right. So in other words, karma 1, healthy 5. I deal 20, block 5. It deals 5 to me, I deal 20 to it. Um, okay, can I just wait, or do I always have to move? And go poop. Oh, I, oh, he's got a lot more HP than I thought. <laughs> All right, that works, I guess. So, but um, so this is attack, defense, um, accuracy. Maybe it's accuracy, like four per forty percent chance, and then five being I don't know speed or something. Whatever. I'm gonna have to figure this out as I go. Oh, whoa, another one. Alright. Fight you. I guess I dodged him. That's cool, I guess. Alright. And you are like a super goblin, aren't you? Because you got an asterisk? I don't know. I do. Oh, he get, gives multipliers. Alrighty then. Board cleared. Give me some stuff. Health potion adds 25 it appears okay level two so I get you get HP back and you get turns back okie dokie then ah darn it 
Looks like I'm going to take some extra damage here. Oh well. Man, you got to be careful, because if you end up in a dead end, basically that sucks. Um, okay, so you can't... I guess I'm just going to have to take the blow here. At the moment, it seems like it's a little more important. Are there ever items just laying on the ground? I bet not. Um, of course, I don't know this for a fact. It's a fact of the matter, but... Um, yeah, darn it. So I'm taking damage there. It happens. Ooh, enemy. Ah, darn it. Do these things seem to have some level of, of intelligence? In spite of being just simple crazy goblin peoples. Alright, level 4. So if I use a health potion, that, uh, that doesn't take a turn. I was really hoping that would take a turn, because that's what I wanted to do. Every single turn counts, GH. Come on. You should... Really? Really? Huh. They do have some level of intelligence. It's odd. It also seems... Oh, wow. Okay, I'm taking damage here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I haven't cleared... Darn it, I didn't clear the board. Oh, well. I guess you don't have to clear the board if you don't feel like it. Huh. One, two, three. One, two, yeah. I kind of wish I could handle these guys better, but there's no, there's no pause. There's no... The only movement you get... Oh! Apparently that moved me. One, two, three. One, two, three. Board's clear. Hooray. Where are you? Okay, I guess you're over here. Yes. Let's go ahead and use a couple of these. Doesn't seem like I'm ever going to have issues um, with carry amounts. So, so if I click, it just like does something. Huh? What's up with that? It does something that doesn't seem to be particularly in my control. Ah, man, I wish these multipliers would show up earlier. Huh. Oh, well. Ah, darn it, that's where he is? Ah, oh, man, I'm wasting turns. Uh, monsters grow stronger. Well, crapsicles. Um, and these are not getting better, so let's just go ahead and use them. Where are they? I don't know. 25. I don't know. Yeah, because you deal uh, 12 damage now. Right. I gain 50% extra from healing? I guess that's that's the squire's ability. Which makes the makes the healing potion, which is the only item currently, kind of an odd misnomer for. Uh, yeah, they never. They seem very intelligent about keeping themselves one square away most of the time. But if you spend time trying otherwise, ah man, that didn't clear. Dag nabbit. Well, whatever. I'll just have to go. Up a level, down a level. Multiplier nine. Dang, I'm I'm starting to die here. Come on, move. Gosh. Okay. I am taking damage. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Maybe I should actually start dungeon diving a bit, because. Yeah. <laughs> Max HP... Oh, because I guess I had extra turn bits? I don't know. I... Because I had so many turns extra or something. Ooh, whoa, damage taken there. Oh, boy. Something happened, though. I didn't, I didn't really get that part where it said something happened. But something did happen. Go ahead and, oh, wow, that's a lot of enemies. I do have turns to burn, so... Oh, they can't move on items. Huh. How about that? How about that? Oh, wow, I'm taking lots of damage. Oh, well. Man, oh, crap, there's still one left. Or two, or several hundreds. Okay, well, at least I survived. And I'm probably not going to survive this. No, I am not. Darn. Um, I guess I'll be Game Hunter. Sure. Um, is that going to... Nope, that's not going to show my password, so I'll just type in something real quick. 
Oh, I need to register. Derp, derp. Okay. And as you probably guys know, this is my email for YouTubing. So there you go. Oh, username has special spaces or characters. Well, I guess I'll just. You know what? Just. <laughs> well, this is usually how I do it. So whatever, that'll work. Check it out, man. How do you get 32,000 points on zeroth floor? Dang, man. That's surprising. Huh. Yeah, let's go ahead and try it once more. Um, there we go. So the enemies get harder over time. That's for sure. And it looks like I took some super dodges there. Uh, early on, oh yeah, early on, seems a lot about making sure you uh, survive the turns, period. Uh, like, your turn count stays where it should be, so you, you really have to make good use of your turns. Can I kill you and clear the board in time? I could have gotten that. Eh, oh well. Such is, such is. Okay, Nelly Nelly Nellyson. I need a lot of those. Did I clear the board? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Don't have time always. And that was a waste of time, speaking of which. Okay, good. I mean, there is like an ideal situation where you get yourself attacking certain enemies. Oh, max HP. Oh, max HP, thus I got... Okay, that's how that works. Huh. Or maybe it's just every five levels you get that boost. So meaning you should spend all of your resources on that last level, basically. Okay, board cleared. All right. So yes, on the... Oh, that was to get to the fourth, though. That was a little different from... Um, oh, come on, guys, really? Come on, guys, really? There we go. I'm trying to get the multiplier up effect efficiently, but these guys are just having none of that. Okay. They do seem to be sometimes slower than I am, so I can sometimes use that to my advantage. Oh, well, it doesn't take time to use items, so I really shouldn't be worried about it. I wonder if um, streamlined strategies involve hunting the multiplier man. Yeah, I couldn't find multiplier man. Okay, yes, well, this is entertaining. Uh, oh, wow, that's, that's a lot of enemies just kind of being enemies. Well, at least I got multiplier man there that time. Did the enemies get stronger yet? Yeah, they did. Was this uh, the level? Nope. That wasn't the super level that was supposed to give me everything. I might have to... Yes. <laughs> might have to do that. Just maybe. Um, yeah, they got harder. That sucks. That really does. I only get 80 a pop. It, you really get points for the board clears. It, that seems to be the big part. But it's hard to clear the board when everybody seems to get a free hit on you, basically. Oh! That's where I wanted to go, but that wasn't the best place to, to do it from. Oh, boy. Oh, really? I was kind of hoping to get the Multiplier Man. There we go. Multiplier Man, what are you going to do for my tuna fish salad? sandwich salad. So I have extra turnage. Aye! Yeah, and then, then I die. <laughs> but, wait, come on. Didn't I? There we go. At least I did better? I don't know if I did better that time. I think, well, that's, considering that's my best. Alright, let's give it one more go, huh? So we got already got the multiplier up. I kind of feel uh, left. Oh crap! Darn it! See, this is like when I'd like to be able to 
Reset the game, yes, indeedy weedy. Okay, yes, like I said, once more, once more into the, uh, the, the, the depths. Because uh, the first couple of levels, you gotta be... I guess you gotta be lucky, because I didn't kill everything, for instance, there. Which sucks, because that's where all your points come from. Um, but maybe you don't really dead ends like that. It's not the best way to get dead ends. Well, at least Multiplier Man showed up early enough. And there was the board clear, which is good. Ooh, wow, these guys are ganging up on me. How about that? Really? Fine, gosh. Keep burning it like that. Multiplier Man still didn't show up yet. Or did he? Yeah, my multiplier's only at three, so... That would be a nosies. Alright. Okay, board cleared. Hooray for that. So th at this point, I can burn everything. Um, and so long as I survive, I should be just fine. Come on, Kadoodle. Furf. Gaffin. Okay, there we go. Phew! Alright, max HP plus 80, so... Ah, oh, man, come on. Ah, oh, the, the inability to skip turns is killing me right now, because, well, I'm sure that's part of the strategy, but blimey if it isn't difficult to uh, work through it often. Oh, man, they get a free hit? Oh, that sucks. And it looks like it's simultaneous damage. I.e., uh, you know, if I'm planning to kill both of them, it's not really that big a deal. <sighs> Let's see. So, yes, if, if both of them monsters grow stronger. So. If, well, basically, even if you kill them, you're still going to take damage. That's, that's what I was trying to get across there. Uh, please don't be a dead end. Well, you weren't a dead end, so that's good. There we go. And I can't... Unless you decide to run, but you, you probably won't. Who boy. Taking damage. Taking damage like a boss. Ah, oh, there we go. Finally. Got him. Where are you last enemy? Oh, wait, you're not last? I'm not gonna make it in time if I... Wait, if I... Yeah, that was way too close. And, of course, the game just kind of decides to, to screw me, basically. Not entirely. It looks like I'm alive. But, you know, figuratively speaking, that's kind of what the, the game decided to do there. Okay, Multiplier 9. I'm on f level 8. Um, let's go here and burn as much as we can, basically. Hopefully find... Gee whiz, multiplier, man. Really, game? Oh, and I need to need to type this in again. I've already logged in, so... Instead, we... This. This so much. There we go. Let me just do Mr. Password, man. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't very good at all, was it? I could have sworn my best was on floor 12 or something. So they seem to have... I don't know, these guys seem to kind of know what they're doing. I guess this is weird. Still don't understand how you can... Maybe floor zero means you won? I guess that makes sense. Well, anyway, I think that's a good... It's a good explanation of the game. Is there like a way to exit without just literally closing the game? Well, whatever. Anyway, this has been Game Hunter playing some Mercury. Enjoy me next time when we take a look at the, like, real mode, I guess, basically. And, uh, you know, see how far I can figure out that game. Uh, until then, keep playing those roguelikes, guys. Take care.